Hi, my name is Matt Crowley. I'm a product specialist here at Atlas Capco. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to change the torque on a pulse tool. So before I dive in, let's talk about setting torque on tools in general. So in most of today's products, when you set torque, you are actually using two different components. You are mechanically adjusting torque, and you are also adjusting torque, or rather setting torque or limits in a software. Whereas, thankfully, when we're looking at just a simple pulse tool, there is no software component at play. So it's simply just looking at changing the torque on the mechanical side instead of software. So with that said, to go ahead and actually change the torque on one of our pulse tools, there's a couple things we need. The first thing we need is, other than the tool itself, we need a flathead screwdriver, and we also need some kind of transducer. In our example, we're using an ST bench with an SRTT to validate that we are, in fact, able to see the torque as it increases and decreases to validate the changes we make. And before we make any changes, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and do a rundown with our tool on our transducer to see where we stand today. That way we know if we make any changes, we can see them live and know that we have, in fact, increased or decreased torque. So if we look at our display, we can see the current torque that our tool is set at in front of us. And now we're going to move over to actually adjusting the torque in the tool itself. So the first thing we need to do is, for safety, we want to go ahead and remove the airline before we go to adjust the torque. Once we have our airline removed, we can go ahead and first take our flathead screwdriver and we're going to see on the side of the tool a more or less rubber screw head. So we want to take our flathead screwdriver and remove that just by turning it to the left. And then we want to set that aside for safekeeping because we will need to put it back on after we're done. Now that we've removed the rubber screw head, we can see there's a hole in the side for access to essentially where we're going to be adjusting the torque using our screwdriver. So the first thing we want to do is rotate this around until we can see essentially what would be best to be described as a plus sign on the surface of the gears inside of the tool. We're going to take our flat-headed screwdriver and we're going to line it up with that and just turn it to the right to increase torque. If you wanted to decrease torque, you would turn it to the left. So we've given it a couple good turns. Now we can go ahead and take our screw head, put it back on the tool, and using our screwdriver, cover the hole back up. All right. So now we've actually gone in and adjusted the torque, but now we need to know and verify that we actually have done what we expected to have done. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and check it back on our transducer again. So I'm going to go ahead and reconnect the airline. And run it down again. So now if we come back and look at our results displayed here, we can see that we did in fact increase the torque as expected. So that concludes this video on how to adjust the torque in a pulse tool. For any other questions, please reach out to your local Atlas Capco rep, and thank you for watching.